Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5, and in case you haven't guessed from the title of the video, I want to talk about some other interest here on YouTube that I really enjoy, and that is theology and apologetics. This is Acts 17 Apologetics, David Wood here on the right. He is the friend and seeking out of finding Jesus that helped Nabil um, um, uh, find uh, uh, Jesus. And Sham Shamoon is a friend of his that shows up on his channel. Um, some other friends of his is Vocab Malone, who is this guy in the front, um, um, in black, uh, closest to us. And he specializes in Hebrew Israelites. But uh, he's also post reposting Islamicize Me. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it is Ramadan. Ramadan is a holy month. Uh, in the lunar calendar or Islamic um, lunar calendar, another X seventeen apologetics video, and um, that's one minute apologist. And they're fasting; they can't eat throughout uh, in the middle of the day, but around eight o'clock, I think they can eat. And I don't understand it completely, uh, but um, um, it is going on right now, and um, I was reminded of it. So, um, this is what do you mean? And what do you mean uh, is um, not that guy. Um, um, he's the guy on the right. And he um, pretty much takes memes and respo he responds to memes and videos and refutes them. Um, but, um, anyways, just to kind of show you some stuff that I'm studying... Um, I got a page right here with the Arabic and the English translations of the Quran, and I picked out some surahs and verses, surahs being chapters and then verses, that I thought were worthwhile to remember. Um, and um, uh, surah 5, verse uh, 47, surah 3, verses 3 through 4, surah 10, verses 9, uh, uh, 94, um, all uh, affirm the... Uh, preservation and inspiration of the Bible, which is weird because if you ask a Muslim, they'll say the Bible's been corrupted. So if it was corrupted, it would have to have happened after the Quran, but the problem is we have the same Bible that was around during the Quran. Um, and then you have this one uh, a verse that says no one can change all his words right there, and According to the Quran, uh, the Bible is all his words as well. And then you got these other verses. Um, you can read those um, if you want. Uh, I'm going to pan across. Those are very important to know. But I want to go back to uh, Surah 35, 18. And I got this bit highlighted. And uh, basically... Uh, one of the big complaints by Muslims is that uh, Jesus cannot be punished for the sins of other people. According to this verse right here, uh, a, a burden soul or a sinful soul, that's how most people uh, translate it, cannot bear the burdens or bear the sins of another person. But the problem is, uh, when Muslims use this verse, is that they feel to realize that according to the Quran, Jesus was sinless. Just like the Christians believe, Jesus is sinless. So according to this uh, verse, Jesus can take the burden of other uh, people's souls and um, live them out, or not live them out, but be punished for them, or bear that burden. So I thought that was very interesting. That's why I highlighted it. Um... um Keep in mind, I do not hate Muslims. Um, uh, I got an Arab friend, and um, I believe she's um, celebrating Ramadan um, right now. Um, and there was a there was a situation. I hate to call it a situation because it wasn't a situation. It was a, it was a point in time uh, when I was at the post office that I saw someone wearing traditional Arab clothes. And I really felt compelled to talk to him, but I had no idea what to say. All I knew about Islam was 9-11 and 72 virgins, which I thought was very sad. And I wanted to legitimately know more about it so that that wasn't all I knew about it. Um, and in fact, I was um, uh, studying Islam at work uh, during my lunch break. 
And uh, I do occasionally um, wear a shemog, especially in the winter time. This was actually during COVID because I didn't have a mask on me. So I thought, what better way to protect your face than to completely cover your face? But, um, you know, I do occasionally wear a shemog. I do uh, openly, occasionally study Islam at work. I've kind of stopped doing that because of the um, reaction from my coworkers. My coworkers jokingly accused me of um, being a jihadi or turning into a jihadi. And I said, that's not the case. I said, if I claim that I disagree with something, I want to know what I disagree with. So that's pretty much my position. Um, anyways... For those of you who want to know, um, that's Passover, Good Friday, Tax Day, Earth Day. Ramadan began um, April uh, the 24th, and it ends uh, Ed uh, Al-Fitr, uh, May the 23rd. So, um, um, just for, for your own information... And this, these are some of my study um, verses. I do have a free version of the Quran on my phone. It only allows me three bookmarks. Um, but, um, you know, I do have it. Uh, I don't have a great Hadith app yet, but um, I love studying uh, Christian theology and Islamic theology. I uh, haven't really been introduced to any other other than um, uh, atheism and Hebrew Israelites. But this is an interest of mine, and I'll post uh, another video about other interests that I uh, watch on YouTube. But really, I pay more attention to apologetics than I do knives on YouTube, and I thought that was interesting. So that's it. I'm a Satsu 5, and I'm out.